the other day, uh, when the, uh, the prophet was speaking, he said that new wine must be put into new wine skins. Yeah. But your outward man never changes. Mm. So God wants to dip you into the oil to change the texture of the outward man. Oh, wow. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. So we need to definitely know and understand that we're living from the inside out, oh, wow. not from the outside in. Yeah. And then you, we've been through 40 days of prayer. So where did we go from here? And the way that this happens for us is that you, you must understand how important and how significant prayer is. Our prayers are, are the vehicle through which God has chosen to impact the world. This region right here, because of your prayers and the people in your life, are being changed. You may not have seen it yet, but they're being changed. All right, so our prayers impact our world for Christ. Amen? God, does not, God doesn't do anything but in answer prayer. You've got to give him something to work with. Amen. 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 Intercession is a privilege. Prayer is a privilege. Yeah. <laughs> it belongs exclusively, like exclusively to you. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Nobody else right. in this world can pray God's word the way that you can Amen. pray God's word. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Why? Because that brings heaven to earth. Come on. What does it do? It brings heaven to earth. And God says, this is the way that we should pray. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That if you didn't believe what you prayed, there was no sense of you praying. See, because although that you can quote scripture, if you ain't living and practicing it, just that's all you did was speak words. Amen? God's tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you have to realize, you have to understand is that you are the only vehicle in this world that God will speak through, do through. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's so important. Not even the angels, if they were to intercede, would intercede. Because they have been given the privilege. You are the sons of God. Amen. Amen. Huh. And the angels can't intervene. They have to wait to hear a word from God. That's right. And when God, when you God hears a word from you, then He assigns the angels. You cannot assign angels. Only God can assign angels. Amen. 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 See, when you pray, then all heaven hastens to perform God's word. Now, the the the, the thing that I, I had a problem with. And the Lord chasing me while, while I was away. I had to go through uh, to one of the largest post offices in the United States of America, created and built by God. I went to the campgrounds uh, stadium in Florida to go to the sin. So here I am. I, I've been born and saved it for 40 something years. So God had to bring me to a place where he could put a seal of approval so that I could be delivered to a place called Firestone. Amen? Amen? And I was sealed by His Spirit. So this weekend we went to Firestone. Amen? Amen? So I had to go through the fire. I had to be reproved and refreshed again in order to get what God wants me to do now. Yeah, yeah. Some of you need to go through the fire. Yeah. Amen? You need to be remade all over oh again. God. Because a lot of us are carrying baggage. Some of us are, are, are carrying all sorts of baggage. Financial disobedient, I mean, uh, uh, pornography, <laughs> bad thoughts, addictions. <laughs> See, so that because of that, God cannot use us. You understand? We come here in a place like this, and we come and we get joy and we get full, and then the next thing you know, we leave and don't do anything with what God has given unto us. He didn't create us for that purpose. God says that He made you in His image and His likeness. We try to dial ourselves up on the outside and we look all good on the outside, but inside is dead men. 
And that man that is dead is the one that's supposed to look like Christ. Amen. I, I can dress nice and I can speak a good word, but what good is it if my life is not exemplatory to the rest of the dark world out there? We're, I'm, we're supposed to be a light in a dark place. And God says that we must make a change because, as Walt stated, as Sister Judy stated, that we're moving into a place of empowerment. Yes. These next four months are critical to the life of the people in this region. And you are the key people because God is allowing me as your pastor to do what we have promised 37 years ago. According to 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and that's to unite the body of Christ together. Yeah. But where does that begin? It begins with you. Yeah. If you're not united, if you don't know each other, and if you're not in relationship, God doesn't want you just to pray mundane words. He wants to be in prayer relationship. Prayer is a relationship with a personal God. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes. And then when you are in relationship with God, he will give you what you need in order to fulfill your calling in this life. Amen. And it's not just to be Dr. Lawyer, Indian Chief, but it's to be a son That's right. yes, yes. of the living God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. So God has somewhat against us because we have left our first love. We do some things well. But God says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I wish I had somebody to believe that. They can do all things, not just some things. And then it's not about your friends. It's about he that sits closer than a brother. Uh, only a friend would lay down his life for you. And his name is Jesus. See, because the one that is sitting next to me, the one that I go to school with, and, and the one that I, I work with is, is not just my friend. I am there to show them and reach to them to show them the true friend. The one that can change and take you out of that turmoil, that upset life, that turned up sound, upside down life that people live in. But it only can come through a church. A church of people of power. Of people that are designed. The only people that can be his mouthpiece. Come on. That's why it says, be not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You need to transition. You need to be loosed from the things that are keeping you out of the will of God. Yeah. That's why God says, oh, don't be concerned about what man can do to you. Yeah. But it's a terrible thing yeah. to fall into the hands yeah. of a living God. He's a God that loves you. Yeah. But he'll God, but he also be the God that judge you because every one of you will be tried before God yeah. for the works that you've done in his body. Yes. Not your body, but his body. You are the body of Christ. Yes. Therefore, be careful of what you take into your body. It's time for a change. See, the, the one thing is that we fail to realize is that we're just not in, in a relationship. We are in a covenant. And the covenant that, that God has allowed us to enter to will not be broken. And he tells you and I that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And even because of that, you'll know me in hell. Oh. And you'll know me in heaven. You got people talking about walls, 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 walls. You better thank God for walls because your wall is called peace. Yes. He gives you the peace that passes oh. all understanding. What a great wall to have. Yeah. The devil can't even come through your peace. Yeah. Uh, oh. Come on, Come on. transformation. There has to be a loosening of the weight. Yes. But he wants you to come under the weight of his glory. Yes. Not the weight of your sin. Not the weight of your thoughts. On, not man. the weight of your friends. Not the weight of your job. Not the weight of your finances. But the weight yes. of his glory. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm talking about his glory. Amen. 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 Moses had the audacity to say, Lord, show me your glory. Come on. He said, I'll show you my glory because it's my rear reward. If you follow me, your reward will follow 
Are you priests? Yes. What do priests do? They proclaim. Amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they give order. They give direction. Amen? Even in the Old Testament, the people that went into the holies of holy were called what? Priests. Amen? That ain't got nothing to do with Catholicism. Yeah. And before the priests went into the holies of holies, they had to do what? Get rid of their old self yeah. Yeah. so that they could be the new man right. before God himself. Amen. Yeah. So every day, Brothers and sisters, you have to get the new man. Yeah. Mm. How many of you uh, fell asleep and you had a bad dream? Mm. Bad thoughts. Guess what? The old man's trying to take over. Mm. But then what you should do, you should go into what? The holies of holies. Ah. Amen? Yes. And get clean. Yes. So some of us don't wait to go into the holies of holies. We, we, we. Uh, Minister Ty Russell. Guess what? I had this dream. Can you tell me about it? Why would I go to him when I go to him? Amen. And I don't have to wait till he's off his job. Because <laughs> he's on call 24-7. You have direct access. There's nothing impossible with them that believe and walk uprightly. But you got to do this because you're a high priest. He says the cats, the hold your care upon him because he cares for you. I mean, God can work through him, but it's only temporal. Yes. But if you got it in your heart, it'll be forever. Oh God. Oh. Every time people come to this altar and get prayer, it's temporal. Yes. That's why we don't give too many altar calls, because we don't want you to be temporal, live in temporal. We want you to live eternally before oh. God. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to the heart to give glory unto, unto the name, say, the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. Mm. Man, when you guys come here on Sunday, and even when, before you put your feet on the ground, you better worship. Yes. You better praise him. Yes. You better glorify him, and you'll come to a place called Happy Church. Yes. succeeds 
a natural blessing. Yes. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Well, it belongs to God in you. Come on. This is the heritage of the saints. You are blessed beyond your comprehension. If you ever read the book of Ephesians, the third chapter, this book is called. Amen. 
Don't let your seed be the curse. Amen. Don't put that dung come on your face. Mm -hmm. And you shall know that I have sent this commandment mm -hmm. unto you that my covenant, here we go, yes. might be with Levi. Hey, Levi. Hey. Saith the Lord of hosts. In other words, he wants the true priest. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. He wants you. He wants you. Won't you come and go with me into my father's house? My God. God is calling us. And he's not calling us by no other name but the name of Jesus. Amen. Saith the Lord of hosts, my covenant was with him of life and peace. And I have given them to him for the fear wherewith the fe that he feared me and was afraid before my name. Why? Because they reverence God and respect God. Amen. Here we are, in, we're right now in Pentecost. And most people believe Pentecost is It's a shout and it's an ant. We, even so much that they named the religion after it. But Pentecost means repentance. Amen. You're now in 50 days of repentance. Yeah. How appropriate for you to pray 40 days before repentance. Yeah. 50 days of repentance. After 50 days comes Jubilee. Yeah. Oh, you know, 
know I have to fix dinner. You know I've got to cut my grass. Mm. Mm. You forgot Jesus. about your first love. Yeah. Yes, amen. Do some things well to look right in man's eyes. Jesus. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. Notice it said, at his mouth. Amen. 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 I mean, I, 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 we went away and we heard different medicines and so but we heard his mouth. You understand? I know what to pick and what to choose. And I was in a place just yesterday or the day before yesterday. Everything that I had prepared for you, God had confirmed. Not this message, but what I was teaching you on the seed and how we have to be more serious about the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because seed is very important. Yes. Because without seed, you wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. if, if Abraham didn't receive the seed of God, the word of God, you and I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. And because he believed and he acted upon it, was counted unto righteousness. And now it's reputed, it's put in, it's put in, it's put in. Now you got to put it out. you got to get it out. Receives the oracles of God for man. 
in, in, on the mount. I think it's the law where he receives the blessings and the curses. So we are standing between two mountains. One mountain says, here's the blessing. No mountain. It's almost about the same looking like the sign. It's the sign. It's the sign. There it is. And then I stand there. And then it says, here's the cursing part. Right? If you do this, I'll bless you. Small word. Conditional word. Yes. yes. If, if yes. you meet the condition. Yes. So you're asking God for stuff, but you're not in condition. Oh. You're not conditioned. You're not prepared to receive the blessing. So then instead of the blessing, I'll, I'll curse your seed. But then he goes on into the 30th chapter. But I tell you this. This day I've set before you blessings and curses. But I would rather that you choose. Choose you this day. Are you going to serve? Yes. Ghostbusters? No. <laughs> Who are you going to serve? Sir. Yes. So I say to you, God is ready to pour your anointing upon your life. He's ready to give you a fresh start. And in that, he wants to build us a holy habitation. Amen? Amen. Amen. Built predicated on the promises of God, our Savior. Amen? Amen. So, we're at a, a pivotal moment right now in our life. And it's up to you. It's up to you to make that change. Amen. So we ask that you would form along the walls and come down the center aisle. My wife and I have been called to lay hands on the impartation yes. of what's going to come. Yes. Come on, do that. Let's do that. Yes. Amen. Let's, let's make it quick.